If mountain biking is your sport and Oakley is your brand, stick around. I have some frames you're gonna like. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Right now we're going to be talking about our top picks in Oakley sunglasses for mountain biking. A lot of the feedback I have gotten from mountain bikers is, is they don't tend to like that really uber aggressively sporty frame design. They like something, of course, that's going to help perform for them, is going to help them perform better. And that is something that you are going to get from all of these frames. Some things that all of these do share in common. For one, everything except for the Sutro here is available in prescription and with PRISM technology. Of course, RX ability is very near and dear to my heart and our heart, and so we are gonna talk about that. If you don't know much about the PRISM lens tech, we've done a ton of videos, and you can check those out. We'll put a link in the description, and you can look into all of the different PRISM lenses. In particular, there are some mountain biking ones that we love and are amazing, and they're available in prescription in almost all of these frames. All of these frames also are available or made with O matter, and that is Oakley's frame material that is very lightweight, extremely durable. So they are gonna stay light on your face. And if you were to take a tumble, ideally you won't, but I mean, we know that it is pretty much unavoidable in the sport. They are going to be able to stand up to that unless it's a real bad crash, but then you're probably not gonna be worried so much about your sunglasses. You have bigger things to be concerned with. If at the end of this video, you are ready to order, don't forget about SportRx and definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or doesn't work for you. Even if I do perfectly well in this video and you know everything to expect, but you just find out they're not, they're not really right for you, that's fine. You have 45 days of them, even if you get them in prescription to figure that out. You just reach out to us and we take care of you no matter what that means. And also we have opticians who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us and we will help you. Now let's talk about these frames. We're gonna be kicking things off with the Sutro Light. I am a really big fan of the Sutro. I think it is a really cool retro look with a ton of coverage. And so you get that really good aesthetic with all of the good performance elements that you would want out of something that is kind of more sporty, but really a, a cooler, more casual look at the same time. This is a new and improved version of the Sutro because it's a semi-rimless design and it's, uh, I don't know about easier to interchange, but you can interchange the lenses just the same in this guy. And you have some other elements that are a bit more sporty in this guy, like the unobtainium grip and texture and pattern on the inside of the temples that is going to give you a little bit more retention when you're hitting those jumps or riding aggressive terrain. And also, of course, it is maintaining that saddle style nose bridge that I love so much. And there's just so much grip in this nose pad and it is so comfortable, I will not stop talking about it. And with this shield design, you're gonna get maximum coverage and you're gonna get a lot more eye protection against dirt and debris on the trail, as well as all of that prism lens enhancement, no matter where your eye is at. So I love this frame for that reason, for sure. The SFW on this guy comes in at 136 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium to large or a women's large. Moving on to the Plasma. This is a new release for this year. It is definitely a more aggressive style, but it's aggressive in a way that I think is still suitable for the sport. I think this is going to be the go-to for those of you who really want the most wrap coverage possible because this does give you a full eight base wrap around design. It was inspired by the racing jacket. The racing jacket was designed really primarily for road cycling. I think this design lends it a little bit more toward mountain biking as well. And it gives you some really cool sporty design features. And it is kind of aggressively sporty, but there's just something about this frame that I think lends itself more to mountain biking than just strictly road cycling, especially if you're looking for that eight base wrap design. There is a ton of grip on this frame, especially in the temples, right where it makes contact with your ear and in the nose pad. And the design on this unobtainium nose pad is just really meaty and it is really grippy. And I love it a lot. 
One of the things that I love in particular about this frame is that despite its eight base wrap, that really curved lens, it is highly RXable thanks to Oakley's OTD Edge 2 technology. And so you can still take advantage of these prism lens techs that are out there even with stronger prescription. So don't miss out on that if you have a higher prescription and want a more wrap design. The SFW on this frame is 132 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's medium to large. Now let's talk about the main link, tried and true. This is a six base frame, a lot more of a lifestyle design with so many sport features included. We have loved this frame since the day it came out and it has served so many so very well. This six base design also makes it amazing for higher prescriptions, very similar to that plasma, but perhaps an even wider range if you tap into our lab and our lab's capabilities. There is grip all over this frame as well. You have it in the temples, you have it in the nose. I think this is a frame that would be amazing for you if you like something that'll work really well on the trails. And then when you're going out to eat afterward, you can keep them on and you're not gonna look like you're still very sporty aesthetically. If you need a larger size, we'll get into size in just a moment, but if you need a larger size, this is also available in an XL. So for you XL sized heads, don't worry, we got you covered. The SFW on this frame is 132 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's medium to large. Next up, we have the Portal X. This was introduced last year and it quickly became a favorite of ours. It is interesting. It kind of fits the same category, I think, as the main link does, but it has a little bit more sport aesthetic to it. It has a few more sport features, functionally at least. I'll say they have all of the same kind of features, but just more so. That sounds weird to say, but just take my word for it. It is more of a lifestyle design, but instead of it being a straight six base, it's probably more of a six or seven base. So a little bit more curvature on this lens, but still that flat frame front. So it's gonna be amazing for all around use as well as on the bike. So if you like something that's a little bit sportier looking, especially thanks to these temples versus the more lifestyle design of the main link, this is an amazing frame. One thing I wanna call out that I'm a huge fan of is this nose pad design. It is more of a saddle style bridge. The benefit of a saddle style bridge is that it's going to sit more comfortably across your nose, give you a little bit more contact, which means dispersion of weight is more even, as well as more contact points, so it is going to grip better. It's just an amazing nose pad I really like. There is more unobtainium on the inside of the temples here than there is in the main link as well. It's kind of what I meant when I said more so. If you crave even more coverage in a larger lens, be sure to check out the portal. That is a much bolder look. It has the same aesthetic, the same functionality, but a big lens and is another really cool frame. The SFW on this guy is 136 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium to large or women's large. Rounding out our favorites is the Oakley Anorak. This has actually been around for quite some time and I'll bet you haven't heard of it because it hasn't really received the attention that I think it deserves. This is another frame that packs sport features into a more casual silhouette. The only thing it's missing that I wish it had is grip on the temples, but you still do get that unobtainium in the nose. And while we're talking about the nose bridge, this actually has a built-in mini advancer. That is something that Oakley was doing for a little while with a few different of their sport frames that they incorporated into this frame. I think it's really nice. It lifts the frame off of your face to increase a little more airflow and to combat that fogging. And it's just a really good design. It's again, a little more casual. It has more of that six base design. So amazing for even stronger prescriptions. You have a nice large lens, it goes deep and you just can't beat this this design. I think it's a little more unique in their lineup. And if you want something that's a bit different, check out the Anorak. The SFW on this guy comes in at 138 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large or a women's large to extra large. So that wraps it up for our top picks in Oakley sunglasses for mountain biking. I hope this video was exactly what you were looking for. And by the way, we have more. Consider SportRx your online source for anything eyewear related. We have other Oakley sport roundups and we have best of guides as well as lens guides. 
when you subscribe, you are going to be the first to know anytime we drop new content. So don't forget about that. And again, if you are ready to order, do not forget about that See Better guarantee. I think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And for even more peace of mind, don't forget about us opticians because we would love to help you get it right the first time. Reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because it helps us out a lot. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I really think you should check us out there too because I think you'd like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. You can find us at SportRx.